Hi, this time we are going to look at LFI um, style attacks and injection and what you can do with that. So LFI, local file inclusion, uh, is the process of including files on a server through some form of web interface like a web browser. Uh, what it allows us to do is when a web page is not properly sanitized in some way uh, we can use a directory traversal attack in order to display a file that is on the local machine um, in place of the file that we're actually viewing so let me show you what I mean by that so here we have a page with uh, some different drop down uh, selections select one of them click on view you'll see that dumped to the screen so we have burp suite running as our proxy in between the website and our machine so if we look at burp we can see a post request that have from our local host has the user agent that we're using which we could have of course changed if we if we needed to but we didn't need to uh, referrer the session ID is a heap live message and then right at the bottom text file HTTP colon forward slash forward slash textfiles.com hacking backdoor dot text right so therefore it's going to um, display from that from there to there is the text file it's going to display all right so what we can do with that is that we can modify that and tell it not to do that so let's just let's just do it to start with and there is our there is our file okay so let's do that again and this time take that out and now let's tell it to instead of look at that file go to the root of the drive dot dot slash dot slash dot slash dot slash dot slash dot slash it doesn't matter how many times you do dot dot slash what we're doing is we're doing a directory traversal um, attack where we're trying to go as far back to slash to the root of the directory and then display something from there forwards so if you do too many it makes no difference at all so there's no if you if you're trying to do this you know, you've only got one chance to do it for whatever reason just put loads in you know it really doesn't make any difference unless you've got some problem with intrusion detection you don't want to be seen you don't want to be pulled out as being something something strange but usually it's around seven depending on you know, the directory of what the web browser is uh, how many virtual directories in it is towards where you are so everyone who got there one two three four five six seven eight so that should be enough so let's go all the way back to the root directory and let's say slash etc slash passwd so what we're looking for is to display all of the current users that are on the machines okay so let's try that there we go. and here we go so as you can see what that has done is that instead of showing that file here it's actually showing uh, the password file on the root machine so you can see all of this nice bit of uh, information gathering about different users that are on the machine that we can use potentially uh, for further on attacks so that's a very useful thing uh, to do try it out yourself go to the uh, multi DAE site uh, download it yourself put it locally onto a box like I've done here play around with some bits and bobs and really get a good idea of what all these things are do them over and over and over and over again until you're really happy with them I uh, hope that helps and I will see you in the next video